An impressive addition to any landscape is a tree or shrub that has bloomed profusely with white flowers, especially in the spring. It adds a splash of color to the landscape and frames your other colorful blooming plants beautifully. Trees and shrubs that produce white flowers every year are on the list today, although there are also varieties of some of the plants that produce flowers of different colors. Number one, American elderberry. A 10-foot tall plant with a 10-foot widespread is common in the eastern half of the United States. If you don't want it to expand, you'll have to keep the ground surrounding its base free because it reproduces by sucking. American elderberries prefer full sun, but they are also tolerant of some shade. They require soil that is both well-drained and consistently moist. USDA hardiness zones three to nine, and this plant may survive the winter. Number two, Yoshino cherry tree. Featuring white or pale pink blossoms, the Yoshino cherry tree is an ideal complement to any environment. Zones five through eight can grow it, and the foliage develops a beautiful crimson color in the fall. In order to keep your tree healthy and free of fungal and insect infestations, if you decide to plant one of these trees in your yard, be sure to regularly prune the tree's thin branches. Zones five to eight are suitable for Yoshino cherry trees. Number three, buttonbush. The white petals of buttonbushy's pincushion flowers are adorned with gold stamens. Early June is prime time for this bloom. Buttonbush attracts a wide range of pollinators, including bees, butterflies, bats, and more. Buttonbush is a popular tree for planting around water features because of its tolerance for moist soils. It prefers full sun, although it can also tolerate some shade. Buttonbush can survive the winter in USDA zones five to nine. Number four, Carolina Silver Bell. Silver bells native to North and South Carolina are called Carolina silver bells. Lowland Carolina silver bells can reach a height of 30 to 40 feet, but in the Appalachian Mountains Rainier regions, they can reach a height of 60 feet. They bloom in the early spring when the leaves are just starting to emerge with little white bell-shaped blooms. They prefer soils that are well-drained and wet. Zones four through eight of the USDA hardiness map are the most popular for planting. Number five, fringe tree. In July, they produce black fruits after the flowering season ended in June. Birds love the fringe trees for their nectar and nesting opportunities. The fringe tree is an excellent choice for urban plantings because of its decorative qualities. It can stand a lot of traffic and a lot of pollution over its roots. These trees can be used as a specimen or as part of a small group in partial shade or full sun. This tree does best in damp but well-drained soil. Plant in zones three through nine of the USDA hardiness scale. Number six, giant dogwood. Black fruits appear in July after the flowering period ends in June. Birds are drawn to fringe trees for a variety of reasons. Trees like the fringe tree are excellent additions to urban settings. Over its roots, they can survive high levels of pollution and traffic. These trees can be used as a specimen tree in full sun or in small groupings in partial shade. This tree does best in damp, but not waterlogged, soil through grow in USDA zones three to nine. Number seven, limelight hydrangea. Hydrangea trees are ideal for tiny settings because of their beautiful blooms. The limelight panicle hydrangea is a robust grower that may be fashioned into a tree form to bring the eye catching blooms at eye level. As a cut flower or dried flower, it thrives in full sun or partial shade and can be gathered throughout the year. Zones three to eight are suitable for limelight hydrangea trees. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. 
Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.